I've made Bluetooth control Arduino cards before, but they weren't very good. Uh, they fell apart and never worked like they were supposed to. Therefore, I've wanted to make a durable and sturdy car. That said, I do want it to be special. So I'll add something special to it. To make this Arduino car, you need uh, two motors with wheels, one 360 wheel, a strap piece of plywood, an Arduino with a motor shield. You can use a uh, L293D if you don't have a motor shield. I'll show you how uh, in another video. And one battery holder. I started by screwing the 360 wheel in place. The screws were a bit long, so I used a scrap piece of 15mm plywood. I measured and glued it in the right place. After the glue dried, I screwed the wheel in. Then I used double-sided tape to stick the motors on the back of the plate. You can use uh, hot glue, that's what I added for more strength. But be careful uh, not to let it seep into the motor gears. I'm talking from experience. I glued the battery and velcroed the Arduino. And it worked very well. So this is the Bluetooth module, the AC05. I connected ground to ground, VCC to VCC, but RX goes to TX and TX goes to RX. Uh, you have to look out for that. Here I wired the motor wires to the motor shield. I measured the switch, drew it on the plate and drilled it out. Using an X-Acto knife, I cleaned the edges and pushed the switch in. I then soldered the battery wires to the switch, which I connected to the motor shield. I plugged the Arduino to my computer after some programming and sent it to the Arduino. Note that you have to unplug the TX and RX of the Bluetooth module to send the code. It was then time for the test. I used an app called Arduino Blue Control, which you can make your own uh, with the MIT app inventor. As you can see, it works perfectly. It can turn right, left, go forwards and backwards. Now I could stop now and it would be fun to play with, but I want something extra. I want to add an FPV camera to this car. FPV stands for first person view. So you put a FPV camera onto, for example, a drone, or in this case, uh, this car. And with an antenna, you receive the image uh, onto a screen and uh, you can drive, uh, for example, this car from anywhere with your screen. So I used my old drone, which had an uh, FPV camera. I took it apart. This is the Foxier Aero Mini FPV camera. This is the antenna. It receives the video from the camera and sends it you can power it from 7 to 24 volts, so I can't use my other battery which used 6 volts. That's why I used a 9 volt battery, which worked uh, perfectly. So I glued the 9 volt battery, I uh, took my switch and drilled the hole, looked where the, the switch would be, put the switch into the hole, tightened the screw. I then soldered the uh, 9 volt battery to the switch, which connected to the plus and the minus of the camera setup. I used heat featuring to detect the solder joint. I turned on the switch to see if the setup worked and uh, as you can see the antenna lights up so it works. So here I stuck the, the setup uh, with some double sided tape. Then it was time for the test so as you can see I'm using the same application. So it's an, a drone setup but it works perfectly. The application even if it's connecting it with Bluetooth it's still uh, working very well. As you will see uh, I can go quite far. For this project, I made in my own Arduino car, but if you find that too difficult, you could buy a toy car and put an FPV camera on it, and it will work just as great. Now that's the end of this video. If you have any questions, remarks, or ideas for another project, please leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching.